Hey folks, this is Josh, Downey Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the Farm Vlog today. This will be another video in the Raising Chickens video series sponsored by Meyer Hatchery. So we've got some cool products that I wanted to show you that make life easy when you're raising your birds out on pasture just like this. There's a cool feeder and a cool waterer I want to show you. They're much easier, they're much more simple than the feeders and waters that we've outgrown. So come along today, we're gonna have some fun. We'll talk about the chickens. We are on week number four. So our chickens are one month old. Normally at about eight weeks will be our slaughter time for our broilers, so we're getting there. These birds are about this big right now. I'm gonna say they weigh in the neighborhood of two and a half to three pounds. So come along today and we'll have some fun on the vlog. I'll show you some really cool stuff. All right, woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Folks, before we get started with the video, I want to let you know I'm not going to show you products that are crap. I'm not going to tell you that something's good if it's not good. If it's not good, I'm not going to talk about it. This has been a lifesaver. These products from Meyer Hatchery have been a lifesaver. I hope you enjoy the video. Please pound that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of rural content, and maybe you'll learn a little something today. All right, so let's go have some fun with the video. Well, the first thing we gotta do is we have to move our mobile coop today. Our birds love the fresh grass, so we're gonna start moving them, and they'll start running toward this fresh grass. They know it's feeding time when we start moving them. So we'll move them out here, and every day, basically, we move them to a fresh paddock of grass. Pretty simple. Right now, they're like, hot dog, dude, we got new grass, Woohoo! I'm not gonna show you something that I don't believe in myself, so these products from Meyer Hatchery made my life much, much easier in raising my 50 meat birds for this year. We got fresh grass for you, birdies. Get your foot out. Don't be a dummy. Hey, birdie. Now I'm sure you guys can see that these birds are straight up tearing up some grass. Now it's really hot out here today and they're looking for some shade. We've got our feeder and our water. Those are the two things that I wanted to show you that make life so much easier for us when we have our mobile coop here. So the first thing I'm gonna show you right here is the five gallon waterer. And this waterer setup is made to where you can just leave it in the coop and you just pop the lid off and you can pour water into it. Very, very simple. There's a float design right inside here and this will keep our 50 birds watered for a 24 hour period. That's a lot of water these birds go through in 24 hours. Now the coolest thing is this feeder, but this makes it much easier for my wife so she can fill two buckets about halfway full and walk over here and fill the water. Totally, totally chicken proof, totally, totally weather resistant, and very, very durable. All this stuff is really, really durable. I would not recommend it if I didn't think it was super duper awesome. So let's set this over in the coop and we'll give the birds some water. So guys, this is the cool feeder. Check this thing out. It's made out of a high quality plastic. It has a handle on here that rolls. It's spins it's a PVC handle and it keeps the birds from landing up here and pooping in their food so very very sturdy it's five feet wide I'm gonna say maybe even six feet wide and it holds 25 pounds of food so that'll be enough food for these 50 birds for today so we're gonna go fill it up and we'll set it in the coop and watch the birds go at it I mixed a little bit of corn in there I don't like corn so much so we're gonna get that high protein 24% uh, crumble chick starter and throw it in there and let the birds go at it okay so we're gonna go ahead and fill this container up this thing takes a ton of food this is the biggest chicken feeder I've ever had and man does it work super duper awesome very easy to move if you have your chickens out on pasture just very cool made of high quality PVC and you can see all the food that I'm putting in here 25 pounds of food these birds are at week number four and they are consuming some food. I'm having to go through bag after bag after bag. Now on the Meyer website there is a formula for how much food per pound of meat these birds should eat. So look down there in the video description there's a link you can browse through Meyer Hatchery and check it out. Let's take this over to the chickens. Now you might be looking at the mobile coop right now and start thinking, man, they look really crowded. Well, they are kind of crowded, but they like to be crowded. They're still baby chicks and they need to be crowded. We'll separate them when we build our new coop, so be sure and stick around for that too. Let's set this guy over in here and watch these guys go at it. There you go, birdies. Boom. 
Guys, these birds get big, they get fat, they get lazy, they will not move unless it's for food or water. And if they can sit down and eat, they will sit down and eat. And that's the waterer right there. We'll go ahead and pull this cover over so that they have good shade for the day. Guys, I honestly recommend that if you're going to do meat birds that you do it either in the spring or in the fall. This hot summer weather is really, really hard on the birds. The heat index today is probably going to be about 96 degrees. I can see them panting already. When they're panting, they're burning energy, they're burning their muscle tissue, and you're going to have to feed them more. So in the interest of feeding water and the health of the birds, I think it's better to do it in the spring or in the fall. So folks, I hope you learned a little bit today. I hope you saw a cool product that you never even knew existed because I didn't know it existed. We've already gotten started on our PVC mobile coop. I haven't got the design already perfected, but we're getting started on it, and we'll show you how we build it. We'll show you everything about it once we get it done. So thanks a lot, guys. Be sure and pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids.